is Emily. Welcome everyone. We're continuing our Route 66 trip through Oklahoma and my parents have a surprise for me in Tulsa. It was a very hot few days on this trip, and as we head towards Chicago, we're adding in the humidity. However, I know a place east of Oklahoma City where we can find plenty to drink. It's called Pops. It's right on Route 66, just east of Oklahoma. Would you look at the size of that pop bottle? It's got ganchu. Actually, it's 66 feet tall and lights up at night. It's also a gas station. And they sell pretty much every flavor of soda you can ask for. Even some flavors you wish were never invented. They also sell clothes with the Pops logo on them. Plenty of soda from outside of the country is shipped here. So many varieties of soda to choose from. They also sell frozen drinks and Route 66 swag. The big seller is the six pack, where you can get any six flavors you want. Spaghetti. All of these crazy flavors like beef jerky, grass, spaghetti. Oh my goodness. Also some flavored Coke beverages you don't normally find. So I got the six pack. Here are the flavors of soda I bought. Strawberries and cream soda. Black cherry cream soda. Ultimate caramel cola. Lemon, air quote, sour, air quote, flavored soda. Butterscotch root beer. And spaghetti flavored soda. Had to get a weird flavor. So I'm about to try the spaghetti soda that we got from Pops. I'm, I like spaghetti, but I am not certain about this, and now the lid doesn't want to come off. Oh, that's an interesting smell. <laughs> so do you guys remember that, uh, that Pop-Tart, I think it's like the first Pop-Tart challenge that we did, that, what was it, the Wildberry one? This kind of smells like that one tastes. <laughs> it smells so weird, I'm scared. I know. I... what? Oh. Nope. Oh, that's disgusting. It's like, it's like candy spaghetti. 
but like it like has the flavor of candy spaghetti but it's like real spaghetti and it's just disgusting now that we're hydrated we will proceed east on route 66 to this unique location this is the arcadia round barn it's a museum and a gift shop where they sell very quirky merchandise, strange art, and other items. You can rent the entire upstairs area for your special event. I wish they were open today because I'd love to see the roof from the inside. I watched Justin Scarn's video when he went inside. It was really cool. The barn was constructed in 1898 and restored in 1992 and has become a popular tourist attraction on Route 66. It's also recognized in the city of Arcadia as a historical landmark. A little bit east of the Round Barn is the old gas station from the 1920s. Kind of hard to tell, but this place used to be a small gas station and a small store. But this place had history besides selling gas. This place is known as the Lawless Gas Station because the owners used to print counterfeit $10 bills. But wait, there's more. The station was abandoned after the counterfeiters were arrested. Then later, the station was a scene of a murder. Lots of strange history at this place. Our next stop is a little ways northeast of here, so we decided to pay the toll and hop on Interstate 44. Route 66 parallels Interstate 44 from Oklahoma City to St. Louis. We're now driving through the town of Stroud, which is halfway between Oklahoma City and Tulsa. Stroud is also the home of the Tigers, while it's the blue Tiger logo for their school athletic teams. The downtown area is very much like the other downtowns we've seen west of here, and we'll see as we continue up the Mother Road. There's an obelisk within miles to various cities on Route 66, but the big draw is over there, the Rock Cafe. This is a historic restaurant that opened in 1939, but it was nearly destroyed by a fire in 2008. It was restored and reopened in 2009. The owner of the Rock Cafe is Don Welch, who was the inspiration for Sally in the movie Cars.
There's something else located in Stroud. Something from another world. At this corner, there is a path you can walk down to see something that is alien to this planet. Someone has aliens in their spaceship in their backyard! the leader of this planet. Then why are you here? I'm on a summer road trip and I saw the UFO sign on Route 66. I'm really hungry. Can you buy me a hamburger? I'm sorry. I I don't have any money. I'm too young to get a job at WDUN as a videographer or multimedia journalist. Maybe in a few years. Okay. Do you need to use the restroom? Yes, I do. I see you have a toilet right here. It says beware, do not open lid, but I gotta use the- Whoa, it's another alien! If you actually sat down, I would see the planet Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. That's a town a little farther up the road in Missouri. We'll get there soon enough. We're getting pretty close to Tulsa, just a little south of the city, and we've reached the town of Sepulpa. Home of the Chiefs. Also the heart of, of historic Route 66. And they have a gigantic gas pump on, right on Route 66. Won't you look at the size of that gas pump? It's gargantuan. That's also one big handle. Big enough for the Jolly Green Giant. It's also 66 feet tall. You can't miss it from the road. It's located at an auto museum, right off Route 66. The irony is the big gas pump is right next to a series of electric charge stations. That's pretty interesting. But there is a neat old bridge. It's over 100 years old. This used to carry an old alignment through every 66. This is called the Rock Creek Bridge. This bridge will probably be closed to vehicles soon. We've reached the town my dad hoped to run a half marathon in later this year. Hoped, but cancelled by Corona. But we've arrived in Tulsa. The metro area has a population of 1.2 million people. It's also the hometown of one of my, of the lead singer of one of my favorite bands, Mr. Ryan Tedder of One Republic. We're about to go under the famous Route 66 overpass. But very near the metal gold sign 
It's a surprise my parents got for me. It's been here since April. We're headed to the Metal Gold District on Route 66. This area is undergoing renovation. Looks like they're adding a median to the road. The surprise is here at Buck Adams Cosmic Curios on Route 66. And here is Buck Adam himself. He's a muffler man decorated as a space cowboy. Buck Adams has just opened a few years ago, but has already made its mark on Route 66 in Tulsa. I'm looking for Justin Scardsbrig. It's behind Buck Adam's left foot. There it is. Dedicated to Justin Scard and Brandon Land. Several loyal viewers of his YouTube channel pull their money together get, to get him a brick right here. We found you, Justin. But I'm about to learn Justin Scardsbrig is no longer the only best brick. My very own brick at the base of the new neon sign, it faces Route 66. I'm checking out what they have on sale inside. So much cool merch. They have one of those robots outside also. I love that store. I'll definitely be back to visit my brick and hopefully meet the owner, Mary Beth Babcock. There are a couple more places near Tulsa to see, so let's check them out. There is no one on this interstate highway, not a car anywhere in sight. And there's a good reason, because this highway is... Abandoned. Erased from existence. You can see the remnants of the bridges road used to go over the interstate. A few years back, they rerouted Interstate 44, so they discontinued use of this old part of the highway. It's being returned to nature.
Near that abandoned highway in the town of Catoosa is another Route 66 attraction, this great blue whale. The whale is wearing a white baseball cap. This whale is still a tourist attraction, but many years ago, people would swim in the lake. There are several slides from this whale, which are now closed off. There is also an upstairs. Many people sign their names on the walls and ceiling up there. Mile markers over here. We still have about 900 miles to get to Chicago. Long way to go. Also 959 miles from the Jack Rabbit Ranch over in Arizona. I was there a little over a year ago. Even the restrooms are whale themed. Before heading back to our hotel in Tulsa is the town of Foil. The giant totem pole is the largest concrete totem pole in the country. And it's surrounded by several smaller totem poles. This is the Fiddle House, which is closed. It contains, you guessed it, fiddles. Looks like it's freshly painted. The ornate decorations are amazing.
Now back in Tulsa and the sun is going down, so we wanted to see a couple of things real quick before it gets too dark. Here we are back in the Route 66 overpass. There are three bridges going over the river. To the left is Route 66, to the right is Interstate 44. The middle is the old bridge carrying Route 66 drivers. It is slowly, be slowly being returned to nature. Another abandoned road in Tulsa. The sculptures here are called East Meets West, to re represent the clash of the Wild West when settlers and their technology came from the East. There are lots of sculptures in Tulsa that we've missed on this trip. Lots of people put locks around the big Route 66 shield. One last stop and it's almost dark. This is the Golden Driller, 75 feet tall. Not quite a muffler man, but a very big manly statue greeting visitors to Tulsa. That is one big shoe. In fact, his shoe size is 393 triple D. And that's it for our visit to Route 66 from Oklahoma City to Tulsa. My next visit takes me through the northeastern tip of Oklahoma and through the tw all 12 miles of the state of Kansas. Uh, all that, next time. If you're new here, please subscribe to get the latest updates on my channel. Take it a step further and ring that notification bell. And if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Thanks for watching! Bye! I had to return to Buck Adams to see my brick one more time before leaving in the morning. The neon is beautiful. Glad to see the urban renewal here. Take good care of my brick, Buck Adam.